peace has been achieved. So we are now bringing in our candidates for president of the world. Our first candidate, Zach. Yeah. Hi, I'm Zach Power and I'm running for president, but who cares about me? I care about you and what you want. And I'm willing to bet we want a few of the same things. Like, do you want better schools and cheaper coffees? Do you want to make more money and pay less in taxes? And do you want to legally marry a goat and put more terrorists behind bars? Well, that's what I want too. So if you elect me as president of the world, you can make it happen. You can stop climate change. You can legalize marriage between humans and goats. And you can finally know where the lost city of Atlantis is. I'm here for the people. I listen to you and I agree with you. So if you agree with yourself, vote for me, Zach Power. Aliens. <laughs> now, me and you, we're pretty similar, we're the same. But I don't know about these aliens, what do we know about these aliens? Not much, no. that's what I say. And you know, I think things that we don't know much about, they can be scary. So I think we just steer clear of that ship because I like good old fashioned America, or if you live in a different country, I like your country. We don't even live in America. <laughs> Zach Power. Zach Week, more like. Yeah, yeah. Your mother didn't say that in bed. What? <laughs> you called me Zach Week, so I was like, I'm gonna come back. So if you can- <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm human. You should vote for me because I'm just like you. Ooh, my tummy's rumbling. Let me eat. You won't have to worry about me raising taxes or something like that because I'm a down-to-earth human with two hands and two feet, just like most of you. I have a dog because I like animals. I go to bed on a bed, I sit in a chair, I put my shoes on my feet, and I put my clothes on my body. Why? Because I'm just like one of you. As a child, I loved drawing and being creative, which is what you probably did as well. I will bring this positive and creative energy into politics. Get these crusty, grumpy, bumpy politicians out of here and vote for someone more like you, which is me. Aliens. They are probably more powerful than us because they found us and we haven't found them, which is scary considering how we treat things that are dumber than us, like bugs. I have a solution. We adopt Buddhism. Buddhism, they you don't kill anything, and so the aliens will see us how we see ladybugs. Ladybugs are ha harmless, they wouldn't hurt a fly, and so we, we take care of them, we don't squish them. And then if we don't kill anything, they will think we are ladybugs. And that is why I think it is important to enforce this religion upon the entire world. For peace. Over Peter. After being the one to personally broker world peace, Peter Hopcat Waghorn was thrust immediately into the global spotlight. <laughs> Any, anyway, Mr. Putin, are we, are we still on for dinner on Sunday? Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, I'll make it. Great to hear. All right, thanks. What was that? Me? President of the world? I mean, surely there's someone better for the job, right? There's probably loads of great people going for it. Who else is running? That's the ants guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll do it. I'm gonna run for president of the world, not for me, but for the greater good of mankind. Since we achieved world peace, which I don't know if you guys heard, but that was me. We, we got rid of all the weaponry because there's no need for weaponry anymore as there is no more conflict, obviously. What do we do when the aliens come and we have no means of defending ourselves? We surrender because any conflict is wrong. Mm. Whatever they want to do, we just gotta do it because if we're gonna fight them back, we'd be jeopardizing the world peace that we all fought so hard, mostly me, to achieve. So just give it up. 
That's fine. They probably got good ideas. Uh, as Peter with Jack's bod said before, I kind of agree with everything he was saying, where he was saying that we should just uh, reach out to the aliens and stuff and just make sure that they're all good. I think we should definitely do that. And I agree with what you said, Peter, that we should bring the aliens into Earth and just let them sort of find their place on the planet. Oh, hey, I was just doing some work on politics and all that because I'm going to be running for the next president of the world. If you want to vote for me, it's a vote for happiness and also a vote for everyone in the world. So vote for me or vote for one of the other three candidates and I'm going to outline why they're also pretty good. Peter's great because he's always got his shirt off which shows that he is strong and buff and that's really important if you're going to be president of the world. Check that out. Woo! The other person is Jordan. He's always asking the million dollar questions and it's important to ask million dollar questions because what do you get million dollar answers? That's cash. Zach. He's got a Tesla. That's important because you need to have a Tesla if you're going to save the world because it's an electric car. Petrol's bad for the environment. That's why he drives an electric car. Overall, I think it should be one of the... F uh, overall, I think it should be one of the four of us. Maybe me, maybe Peter, probably Peter because he's got a freaking jacked bod. All right, thanks for watching. It's so supportive. Oh, it's, it's still it's still going. Oh. How <laughs> 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 oh, this go? <laughs> oh. Let's open the floor now and hear any rebuttal from the other candidates on their views on aliens. Uh, now, now, Jordan. Yes? You know ladybugs are predators, right? No. They eat like hundreds or thousands of aphids a day. Yeah. Aphids? He eats food though. I eat, yeah, I eat food. No, it? You said they wouldn't hurt a fly, which is maybe true, but they would hurt a lot of aphids. I don't know what an aphid is, and neither do the people. Peter, I'd like to hear, why are you trying to confuse us with this science-based nonsense like predator, these long words? I want to know how you think you contributed to causing world peace. I wrote up the contract. You did nothing. You did, did you, nothing. Did you not see my video? I was there on the front lines. Someone had to suck Putin off. Moving on to our second topic of discussion. We did what to Putin? It seems we are on the edge of revolutionizing our society by making a breakthrough in the world of artificial intelligence. How do you plan on harnessing AI's power to build a better future? Start us off, Jackson. It's hard for me to go first because Peter hasn't spoken yet, but I think that um, <laughs> with AI, we... What do you think? <laughs> no, we'll just let Peter go first, mate. Yeah, the right saying. track is some train tracks. Yeah. Get him out of here. Well, what did you okay. say to me? <laughs> World peace. Order, order. <laughs> Sounds like we want to go to Peter. Yeah, Peter go first. I'll go after him. Look, I, I get what Jax is going for here. I think AI is going to be perfect for making more friends. I agree. It's going to re-revolutionise the way we socialise, the way we are nice to each other, the way they're friends, and Jackson's making a great friend to me today. I'd never seen this guy before, never even heard of him. We had lunch last week. No, we didn't. And uh, I've actually brought some AI here. You guys using your paper like you're in the 1920s over I here. I have my phone. Uh, I actually have a piece of technology here with my AI in it, where it's going to translate the things you say into more friendly ways of saying it. So it's, this is an AI generator here. So if I wanted to say, for example, yeah. hey, Jordan, you smell like old cheese, which I, I don't think that, that's just an example. I do. No, I'm closer. <laughs> All right, let me just put this into the system. And we've got our output here. All right, here we go. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comrade of Earth. I was admiring your glory when I noticed a new and revolutionary scent coming from you. Is it a new cologne? It's very rustic smelling. It is a new anyway, cologne. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day and continue on as you are, my great friend. Oh, thank you. That was very peaceful. That was. That's what AI can do. I think it's going to be great. We're going to make so many friends. Look, just give the AI to the aliens, they'll make friends. It's going to be perfect. That's what I was going to say, but you cut me off, so no worries. Humans are already great. If you look at the planet, there's some other things that are kind of weighing us down. Animals. They're so dumb compared to us. And if we give the animals the AI, then it'll be like having even more people. Like imagine if just the chimps built houses oh and, God. And, and, what are you and stuff. To say? Or if elephants were firefighters. We need to use the animals. The um, AI. Uh, yeah, to put the AI in the animals so they can be smarter. So how do you think the super intelligent cows are going to feel when they heard you had a quarter pounder for lunch? Well, the, didn't you hear the Buddhism bit? We're not doing that anymore. Checkmate. Oh, when I heard about this 
AI stuff. AI, <laughs> what is that? I'm not too sure. Those letters, they can be a bit scary. AI. You know what letters I like? U, S, and A. <laughs> You're not from and America. I also like other letters, like the letters in your country's name. But AI? Well, I think that uh, making something that's not real, that's pretty smart. Is that a real smart idea? Yeah, what's all this USA talk when it's um, world peace, Mr. World Peace? It is about the world. I also said I love the letters in any country's name. Keep up. You said you disliked AI, but then you said I like USA. A is in both of those. Any further explanation? Well, it's a good we, point. It's a good point. We all have an A-hole. I'm just like the rest of you guys, so... <laughs> He's just we like all me! Got a little, we got, <laughs> all got a little A somewhere. This guy's good. When's Jackson coming on my team? He, he gets me. <sighs> I do have an A-hole, sir. Let's move on to the third topic of discussion. <laughs> it's just in this notepad, which I have <laughs> yes. a phone behind. <laughs> Can you show the class? Can you please show the class? You can have a phone! <laughs> What's with it? the future, you can have phones. Okay. It's like cheating in school. <laughs> Quite controversial after hearing how Peter just said he has no idea who this guy is. The third question for today is the scandal that involves all four of these candidates on the panel today. Six months ago, some leaked paparazzi photographs surfaced, depicting all four candidates that are here today. They were holidaying together on an island found just off the coast of Perth. I remember that. Some would say these pictures show the four of you in harmony, almost celebrating in each other's company. Mm -hmm. What do you have to explain about how you were embracing the company of your opponents just six months ago? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Take it away. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Well, you, how can you not love spending time with these guys? They're awesome. Look at them. You got Zach down there. He loves USA. USA. Batman. Hey. <laughs> and Pete, the president, the future president, the big fella. People in the crowd, do not fall for this man. Like, what is this? The aliens are going to come. They're going to want to kill us and he's going to want to be friends with them. He has no yeah. backbone. He's probably oh. a jellyfish. Hey, I'll tell you about the holiday. These paparazzi... I call them the Papa Nazis. Ooh. And you know what? I don't like Nazis. The paparazzi has twisted that story. We were not holidaying on Rotnest. Huh? It was a strictly business orgy. You know what they say? Make love, not war. And we were making a lot of love. But no war, so I'm on board. There's nothing to deny here. It was just a, a the orgy was amazing. It was. <laughs> we weren't, we didn't have to fight over like who went on top or anything, no fighting. Yeah. Perfect unity. Because we all already knew. peace. Zach Bauer's on top, baby. Zach Bauer! Zach Lee. Like, as soon as you put the ball gag in this guy, it was perfect. Oh, and yeah. then after that point, mwah. My erections have never been stronger. You know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Do you think... Who quoted that? I would... Me. I've never just said that. I just said it then. And these guys are clearly not my friends. You've seen them. You would not vote for them. Yeah, even we're not, we're not friends. We're lovers. E Order. <laughs> 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 I was keeping my enemies close so I can... Close? I was inside you. <laughs> very close. <laughs> Extremely close. <laughs> very close for many days <laughs> and hours. Over and over again. <laughs> I'm not done. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was a great time. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it too. Jackson has a micro penis. Do not vote for him. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're off my list, you piece of shit. You're off my See, list. See, the anger comes oh, no. out. You're Mr. Off my nice list. guy, I'm until it goes wrong. No, I'll He's never like these boys. I, like, I love women. I'll, I'll go out with you. I'm nice, and then they say no, and they say oh. like, you slut. Oh, that's <laughs> what he's. That's what he's like, oh, yeah, Mr. Right. Nice like, guy. Like you've got a big penis. More like you do. Mr. Shit guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stand on climate change? Does it play a major concern for you? Do you have a plan for the people's future? Let's start with Jordan. Now, I actually have some statistics here, unlike these fools. Now, people want to get rid of oil and gas and all these fossil fuels to help climate change. They're idiots. The oil and gas industry earns profits of about $3 billion per day. And that is a lot of money the earth is, is bringing in. So I say to fix climate change, we double down. We go all out on fossil fuels and we bring those profits up to $6 billion a day, which will help the economy and the world. We will be able to afford so many more spaceships with an extra 
three billion dollars per day all of that money is going to go straight into elon musk and he's going to take us to other planets we can settle them who cares if earth gets ruined because we've, we're going to be a multi-planetary species people focus too much on climate change where guess what would change the climate a meteor hitting earth so you know we got to get out of here well i think fossil fuels people that like that are fossil fools and I think you're going to end up like a fossil Jordan Do you if you don't stats? take climate change seriously. Do you have any stats? Now, I'm, I'm taking it the serious. Man. I don't know too much, but what I do know is some fancy scientists. And when I hear climate change, I know that change can be scary. But if we listen to the, the people that know more than us, these scientists, me and you, we trust them. We can beat this thing. We can beat this thing for America. It's and America. everywhere else. <laughs> We're not in an... Okay. Look. When things heat up, it opens the opportunities for many good social events. I've never heard any, any, of anyone saying, it's minus 40 degrees today, let's go to the beach. Climate change warms them up, get to go and hang out with your friends, make more friends, then you get really hot, take your clothes off, get a bit of a cuddle Ooh, puddle going Mr. because Orgy. it's nice and toasty, and then everyone's just overall happier. This is not a bad thing. So what the animals are gonna die? So what the world's barren? We have each other. And at the end of the day, what's more important than human connection? Living? Will you alive? Do you die when it's two degrees hotter? You die when- You're not the, some pussy bitch coral, are you? You die when the whole ecosystem fails and, and we don't have any plants or food. I'll just eat other stuff. I'll have like salt. Salt. Yeah. You're gonna eat salt for the rest of your life. You guys want this guy. When things heat up, it opens opportunities up. It's lately been 40 degrees at the beach. You can take your clothes off. Hey, we have just, each other. He was just riding down what I was What's saying. What's more important <laughs> than that? Let the man finish. Thank you. Peter just lost my vote. If it's 40 and then it's getting climate change, so it's getting hotter, then it's then take your clothes off. 40 goes to 50. Yeah, yeah take, your, take clothes your clothes off. off. So and then it opens up opportunities. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask each candidate to please elaborate on the main thing they'll be passing a bill for if elected as President, world leader. Zach, power. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know I might be up here, fancy Mr. President here, you know, I'm up here with the big boys, but I'm really just one of you guys. I am fancy. So, I don't want to know what bill I'd be passing. I want to know what bill you guys would be passing. Give me a shout, go on. Yeah, better change. schools? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, more roads? You got it. You want to legalize marriage with goats? All right, let's do it while we're passing all these bills. What's that, that last one? That last one? Yeah. Oh, someone just yelled it out. No one Soon. yelled that out. He's trying to be a people pleaser. I don't think it's going to work. he's trying to be a goat pleaser. More John, anything. you knew I was a people <laughs> pleaser when we were on that <laughs> island. Yeah, What's a goat dick taste like? <laughs> <laughs> if a goat can eat anything, why can't it eat my ass? Zach Power. Zach putting the feta in fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I think that a huge problem now that we've achieved world peace. Oh, I achieved world peace. Sorry, we. <laughs> and now that I've he's achieved lying. world peace. He's lying, he's what? lying. We've got connections to build with our friends. Mm. We've got important connections to build. And I will be introducing a daily cuddle quota that everyone must, must reach. And if you don't, you're nice. put to death. It's very, very important. And it's not hard to do. What about the isolated cuddle, people? They die. Cuddle <laughs> 10 people. Are isolated people achieving world peace? Yeah, well, they're they just hanging out. They're, they're, just, they're doing their own thing. They're what I'm there. hearing is genocide. I'm wow. here. Can I get some genocide? You're really going from the to crowd? elect Hitler 2.0. So oh. quotas. You need to give ten people a good tender hug a day. Can you demonstrate? I'd it? like to start now. Not no, not with you. What? I'd like to start now <laughs> with our friend over here, Jordan. You look like you need a cuddle. I need one. Um. Yeah. Sure. Let me let me see if this Where is any good. Tender. That's the way. Oh god. Nine more to go. Ten a day. It's ten colours. Oh, it's quota. ten a day. Are you even listening? No. Was that that bad? Let's hear uh, from Jackson. Okay. Let's hear from Jackson. I'm stunned. The bill that I will be passing is that there should be four presidents of the world because I think we're all equally capable and I think we'd all have a really good chance of just giving the world a uh, make a better place. Amen to that. This is the bill you're passing. Yeah. The four presidents of the world. Then who's gonna what if you disagree? Three. Just figure it Three out. Three presidents. We seemed to figure it out on that little trip, didn't we, Jordan? <laughs> that was that you're my enemy. That was a farce. You're a fool. I would never listen to you. Or suck you off again. Alright, if that's all you have to say, <laughs> we 
I think Jordan has hasn't spoken yet. Rails. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to HR at the underdog's place. <laughs> <laughs> Duct taping baby's mouth shut. <laughs> Holy shit. The bill I am passing. They won't even remember. They won't even know. Did you know that babies actually can't even breathe through their mouths until they're like four months old? So it won't even make a difference to their breathing. And it will cause even more world peace because they will all be quiet. You're on a plane and the baby's crying. The flight attendant will now have the power to duct tape that baby shut. <laughs> <laughs> Can you duct tape at both ends? No, that, that might be handy. We haven't have re we haven't baby. researched into that, but I will look into that because I am a man of the people, not the babies though. Shut them up. I Pro thought Peter's thing sounded a bit dictatory for my liking. Yeah, a bit of the kill people. I'm trying to improve the health of the people. Jordan, you're a joke. No one here is voting for you. Do like not vote for the genocide yeah, guy. Power. Do not. No, do no, that. just cuddle. It's not that hard. First it's cuddling, then it's invading Poland. That's all I'm saying. Well, that was maybe bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on. Yes, let's. Let's move on to our final question of today's debate. The people would like to know mm. from each candidate, what is the one thing you plan on banning? Let's take it away, Zach. You started with me three times and Peter oh, if you're so powerful, once. go not ahead. Not only has he paid an actor to come and support him, but apparently he's paid and is probably sleeping with the organiser of this entire debate. This it's is sounding power. a bit like Zach defensive over here. It's the power of human <laughs> connection. What can I say? It's the power of human connection. It takes you places. Thank you for proving my own point. I don't want to ban anything. I think that everything on this planet is good. What about killing Let the people? Let me cook! Well, if it's Smash Bros, Steve, but apart from that, nothing. I like everything. Even and you like fentanyl what I like overdoses? because I like everything. <laughs> what about so that? So if you like the things that you like, vote vote for Zach Power. So he's going to ban Steve before murder. I can drive a truck. Yeah, that's a bit. I don't know about this world piece. I, you needed more thinking time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Photographs. They should be banned. No one should be taking any pictures or looking at memories. Photography is literally you're stuck in the past. Is this because I got those nasty photos of you? No, no. It's look, I think it is. look in a picture, and it is all about um, it's all about being stuck in the past and not moving on. What about videos? Um, if it's um, only if it's about the future. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might go with Jordan's being a flip it. Everyone gets every photo ever. So if you guys <laughs> want Jordan's photo. Just send me a text. It's now legal. You get everyone's nudes. So you're banning privacy. Yes. Uh, um, that sounds bad. <laughs> it's good. It it's is just, bad, people. It's spreading the information. Everyone can see the photos. Everyone needs to see photos. Some spreadings do not need to be seen. <laughs> Your spreading do not need to be seen. There was hemorrhoids everywhere. War already banned. World peace. Why would you start another one? So that one's that one's simple. We need to take it a step further and ban fighting just, you know, in the home. Ban any kind of argument and discussion or anything like that. It's just got to be banned. How will so, you move forward? In that case, I'll be seeing you guys later because uh, this has been quite quite an argument and I'm not here for it. He's a pussy. Get him out of here. Vote for me. Well, I know Mr. if I was elected president, pussy. I wouldn't leave my term halfway through. And that's why you should vote Zach Power because I'm here for you. Or Jordan. And that's an empty seat where a fucking idiot used to be. I'm still in the room, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Any closing statements from our last left standing candidates? I'll give you Peter's closing statement. <laughs> Zach Power. Zach Power. USA. <laughs> Thank you for all coming. Thank you for participating in our debate. Tell us down below in the comments who you would elect as president. I think we're going to close it out here. You have to choose one. Say you I love Jordan in the comments. Yes. I love Jordan. I love Jordan. I'm an unbiased party.